Hepinize merhaba arkadaşlar. Hoş geldiniz. Yeni video ile karşınızdayım. Videoyu beğenip kanala abone olup bildirim çanını açmayı unutmayın arkadaşlar. Bizden iyi seyirler. Kaldığımız yerden devam edelim. Sonra ne yapıyoruz? Aid station. That sounds like what the traveler needs. Şey gereken şey. Yok ana. Kaldım diyor. Could end up being useful. Hemen aletler alalım, bırakırız. Bol bol var. Parçasını aldım. Kilidini de açalım. Starting to weigh me down. Başka ekstra bir şey. Kamera aletler var. Şunu da at. Şunu da at. İlk yardım istasyonu ile şunu bana atladı. Kart redro ile ikisinde ilk yardım istasyonu. Tamam. Asansör bakım notu. This is any good to eat. Bir 
şey kullanarak gereksiz bir şey var mı üzerinde varsa da var evet dursun Harbiden bir kapıya doğru yöneldim. <gülüyor> not almadan not almadan gidip konuşamadım ya. Not almadan gideceğim zannettim büyük ihtimal. Eşyaları bırakayım döneyim dedim. Kartır hidro tıp bir malzemelere. Tamam işte söyle. Kapı kutu uzun zamandır kimse dokunmamış. Industrial strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. Let's hope we don't need it. Arabi dana, sen anahtarı görmüyorsun, notu görün. Ama ha, oğlum burada sesim varmış ama ne yapayım? Bir kom mu geldi? Ne oldu acaba? Neyse burada yapılacak bir şey kalmadı. Oğlum sanki bir tane bir şey mi? kalın. Bunu altına açıyorduk galiba. Şurada bir yerde. Bir not oluyordu bak. Hangi bölümdeydi o göstereceğim size. Neredeyim lan ben? Bir kat fazla çıktı. Tamam her yeri gezdik. Burayı da gezdik. Şurada bir tane gideceğim bir göz zulaları var. Eyvah. Hadi sen de öbür ucuna git tezgahın. Bunu geri al. Kasayı da kır. Kasayı görüp kırmadan dayanamıyorum. Hmm. Bir tane sınav dışarıda ateş mi yaktık? Hatta hepsini alıyor. Olduğundan bol ne var ama ne? Bir ateş yaktırır mı? Yok yaktırma. I'd better check in on that old trapper. Buraya, şuraya bir ateş yakalım, kahve içelim. Hızlandırıcı kullan. Kullan. Looks like it worked. Ah, pingen kahve. Nasıl kahveci? Git. Hem susuzluk gitsin hem ısınalım hem de uykumuz az gelsin. Hadi gidelim. Buradaki şeyleri kırmayacağım ben. O kadar da değil. Belki vardır altında bir şey ama hiç. O kadar da uğraşamam. Ha şuraya da uğrayalım geçerken. Buradan dümdüz yazdırıyoruz. Yani şöyle gitsek. Nereden gitsek? Gölü takip etsek aslında çıkıyor buraya. Şöyle gelsek. Neyse biz böyle gidelim.
Ya yük. Heh bak artı bonusunu verdi sonunda. Artı 5. 35 artı 5 taşıyabiliyorum şu an. Ya yük. Gel buraya. var hiç problem değil kafasına vuruyoruz bir tane geliyor ve silah temizlemek gitti lazım ya iki tane varmış ama da tek tek kendine ay anam korktum lan geyikmiş ay dedim üstüme ne geliyor ama da Burada barakam var mı sen? Haritada niye görünmüyor? Bu haritayı boşuna mı yapmışsın? Tek verdim sağırız. Kapana ihtiyacım yok. Kasa. Başka da hiçbir şey yok. İkinci göl kuruluşsa bana sorun. İşte. Korku da böyle. Gel buraya. Tamam. Lan. Bu boyu almadık. Bu yukarıda mı kaldı acaba ya? Yukarıda kalmasın. Dolandırma beni. Heh buradan geç kalmış. Heh tamam. Tamam karşıda gördüm. Alalım. Ağrı. Well well. What do we have here? Can't have too much water. Ver ver ver hepsini ver. Yemeği hayır demez. Göreve gidelim. Bedava çıkmayalım yukarı. Tamam burada halat var. Büyük ihtimalle görev ilerledikçe yukarı çıkmamıza izin verecektir. O zaman gelir. Kafamıza göre çıkmayalım. Kıyafetlerimiz var üşümüyoruz havaya bak hava buz gibi ama üşümüyoruz Kaçaklı kıyafetlerimiz var Hımm seni sevdiğim Bir sürü kurt Hepsini öldüreceğim şimdi Gelme buraya Al gidip gelin ben buraya Üstüme doğru kaçıyor. Gel 
Dobra. Nie wiem, jak to wygląda. O, to nie wygląda tak dobrze. Podpory tutaj widzieli mnie, ale Ja już to zaraz zrobię. Za parę kadar warą, ale to rurę. Tak nie wiem. Ale i ja jem nigdy nie. alırım diye ama yanlış yoldan döndük. Burada bıraktım bir şey var mı? Dönüş alırım dedim. Bir yer dikiş gitti. Nacak. Nacak. Nacak ben. Tamam mı? Bendeki biraz zarar gördü. Bunları bırak artık. Yardım olmayan bir şey var mı? Misinalar dursun. Balık tutturma görevi yaptıracak bana. Lazım olacaktır. Hem yok. Bilemiyorum. Ben yemek yiyelim. Ağır olan yemeklerden öncelikle. Başka konserva var mı? Mesela şunu yiyelim. Hıh. Yarım kilo çünkü. Bilebilirim. İyi. Rüzgar da gitti. Ama mis gibi sen. Bak karakter de yorulda. Az kaldı, dayan. Bunu şuradan dümdüz kaptırsak gider mi zaten? Deneyelim bakalım. Para kadar mı? Gidelim bakalım. Tamam çıkıyoruz. Ateş takmalık bir yer yapmışlar. Neyse buradan yardırsak. Şöyle. Tepeye doğru. Tepeden de aşağı. Kulübe değil. 
Çok yorulursam ilaç basarım. Öyle devam ederiz. I just need to close my eyes. Çok koşuyorum ya ondan çabuk uykum geliyor. Buradan çıkarsın herhalde değil mi? Mekanizm. Burkulabilir ama yapacak bir şey. Bu adamdan naca alayım ya. Giderek. Kulübeyi bırakalım. Belki lazım olursa. Neyse bir tane hadi ağrı kesici kullanak edeceğim. Dur tamamen yorulsun ben. Adam haber ver senin amına koyayım. Deli taklidi yapıyor amına koyayım. Yine yurdan kalkma taklidi yapıyor. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while. But it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? You don't have time. We need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Tamam bak aman öpeyim ne hızlı iyileşti burada bu gibi. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit Maybe. about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Ah, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there, hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us, or starve us out. Ah! 
I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Abi az önce böyle Osman Bey gibi oturuyordum. Hiçbir şeyin yoktu. Neyse sorular soralım Barış. The dam was pretty busted up, like he said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But a bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s. But then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the quakes finished the job once and for all. Ormanda konuşuyor ha bu. So, e, ilk bölümdeki kaçanlardan mı? Eco terrorists. Aktivist. Ama bu temiz bir adam ya. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Why are they out here? Well, they've been active for years. They come and go. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. You don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. They have something they want. They take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Çevreyi soralım. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. Whole area's mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. So, no other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. You meet anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from <laughs> something. Or someone. And you? Why are you here? I have my reasons. Bir tane büyük bir balık yakalatıyor. 20 kilo mu? 50 kilo mu ne? What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah. Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? Each other's blood mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. She may have passed through here a few days ago. Karambola bir yere gitmiyor yani. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. Then I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. You won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town, north part of the island. Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there 
or contact her. See if she's all right. You sure she's alive? Yeah. I'm sure. Go to the magic. Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. The whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now, the patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. Not spooked. Changed somehow. The best way I can say it is things don't feel right. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio, and our survival, is through that bear. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Pause it. Okay, so we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? Don't worry, I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic, but we need the old knowledge, the old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story, local legend maybe, hey, well, about one of the original him. settlers of this place, Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family have been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. The bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing. And they find him. Just a body. Ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some... slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days, and then one morning, Wife's fever breaks, but nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him, and they find him half dead, blood all over him, body torn almost in two. The bear's work. 
And the last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear? Spear stealing its soul? <laughs> no, of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg. We'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear. Let me worry about the radio. <laughs> Let me rest. Good luck Later. out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. They just lay down and have a little sleep right here. I'm so old, we are gonna get no use. Ben de uyuyacağım dedin. Hala ayakta dikilin. Tamam bakalım. Oo, 4 tane daha. En az. Fırtına var yani. Sana geçti. Yemek yiyelim. Öncelik ağır yemekler. Köpek maması var. 30 kilo en ağır şu an. 30 gram yani. Bulacak yemek var mı? Let's try to see if I'm sitting there. Let's see if it's possible. Oh, that's not even miss. Yeah, no, but maybe yeah, it's a final match. Come on, let's try to see if we can. Let's see if we can pass it again. Birisini pişir. Tut abi pişir. İç abicim şuna. Senden iyisi yok şu an.
Arkadaşlar burayı da YouTube için bölüm sonu yapalım. Bir dahaki videoda görüşmek üzere. Videoyu beğenip kanala abone olup bildirim çanını açmayı unutmayın arkadaşlar. Bir dahaki videoda görüşmek üzere. Kendinize iyi bakın. Bay bay.